Hello everyone, welcome back today. Um, last video was a video on how to make advanced rain effects inside of Scratch. Um, you can go check that out if you want, the link will be in the description below. Um, but in this video today, I will be telling you how to make a rounded square, well, multiple ways to make a rounded square, so you can see which one you like the best. So let's get to that. So the first one, you'll be making your shape, rectangle, square, whatever. Then um, you'll click this and go here. Make sure you have no outline. Yes, this does have to be in vector. Um, and then you can go ahead and zoom in and um, put some points there. And then just and then delete this one right there to get a rounded one so you will have to be pretty accurate to make sure all of the rounded see like that one wasn't very accurate I'll have to delete them and make them look and make them better um, so yeah it may be a little bit frustrating at times but eventually you'll get it so then you just have to keep doing that on all corners until you get your rounded square and then there you go, your rounded square, which looks pretty good in general. Um, yeah, so this is step one. Um, number two, you can um, like draw your rectangle, you know. So draw your rectangle first or square. I'll just do a rectangle this time. Um, then go ahead and make a circle. Uh, hold Shift and Alt and size it up to a certain size, depending on how rounded you want your corners. Um, so I'm just going to make this look more exact. Okay, that's probably the closest I can get. So I'll copy and paste it. And then I'll put it somewhere around here. And then I'll draw like... Okay, uh, maybe this one could be moved down a little more. Um, yeah, like that. Now it should be pretty accurate. Then I'll just take this, copy it, paste it, move it down. Um, move it to where, oops. <laughs> move it to where it's perfect. Um, maybe down a little more. Yeah, looks pretty good. Um, now you'll just take a rectangle, make sure it has no outline, and go ahead and put it there. I'm just going to use the arrow keys to move it into perfect position. Um, that doesn't look like it's exactly perfect, but it's pretty close. Yeah, I don't think I can get it exactly perfect. Um, well, there we go. Um, yeah, this one's harder, so... You probably aren't going to do this one, because um, this one's a little more complicating. Yeah, so you still get a rounded square, but it's not the best. And then you can just go ahead and select all that and group it together. So that it's all grouped into one thing. But yeah, that's probably not the best. And um, number three. You can draw your square, a rectangle or something, and then um, you can try to curve it like this um, and move it down. Uh, so this is probably not the best choice unless you want to have some funky looking rounded square. So yeah, you probably won't end up doing this one because it doesn't really get a good looking one. You know, it's pretty bad in general. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can see already. It looks like a loaf of bread right now. Um, yeah, I probably will never ever use this anywhere. Well, um, uh, maybe I'll use it somewhere in one of my games in the future, but right now, this is kind of, this, <laughs> this rounded square is kind of an outcast at the current room, at the current moment. So, yeah, it's... A rounded square, but it's not the best. Ra I mean, 
Um, yeah, it's rounded, but it kind of lost its square shape. So, I hope you liked this video. Remember to like and subscribe and click that bell. Um, um, and I'll see you in the next one.